Research has found that e-bikes encourage new people to ride bikes, get those who already ride bikes to ride more often, and people actually feel safer when riding e-bikes than standard bikes. Plus, they're replacing some car trips as well. If you haven't yet jumped on the e-bike bandwagon, now is the time. We're joined by Len Mattioli, better known as Crazy Lenny's, from Crazy Lenny's e-bikes. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. You know, I love chatting with you, Len. <laughs> and um, one of the reasons is because it is so much fun to talk to you, but also because riding an e-bike is a lot of fun. It, for folks who haven't tried it yet, is it as much fun as they think it is? Yes, it is. They're just plain fun. You know, let me put some numbers to that, something that the viewers can maybe sink their teeth into. We have sold in greater Dane County, uh, say within a 50 mile radius of Madison, uh, over 14,000 battery assisted bikes, wow. e-bikes, 14,000. That's incredible. And as you may know, many know, I've been a retailer in this area for 48 years. Yeah. I have never had a product, even the first microwave ovens or home dishwashers, where uh, people just love them. They come in, I love my bike. It's not uncommon uh, to hear every day someone saying, oh, it gives uh, my family and I something else to do. Uh, they're more fun. Um, and of course, you can't argue with the medical facts. The e-bikes are great exercise. Yes, they sure are. And I've, of course, ridden them myself, and I sure do enjoy it. It makes getting up the grueling hill <laughs> a lot easier, or a little bit easier, depending on how much power you want to give it. And, of course, for husband and wife duo or folks that like to ride together, you're never at the exact same skill level. So right, being able never. to keep up with somebody is really nice. Right. I used to tease my sons. I'd say, when you go on a date with a young lady on an e-bike, I mean on a regular bike, when you go on a date, <clears throat> when you get to the top of the hill and you wait and you think you're being um, chivalrous, you know, and your date c catches up and then you take off, now she's really mad. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. With an e-bike, it never happens. You just, it, it's the great level. It makes the hills level. It makes the skill, uh, skill levels equal. Yep. Um, and the best of all, they are really fun. They sure are fun. So as I mentioned in my intro, it, it might be surprising, but now is a perfect time to buy an yes. e-bike as we're heading into the new year. You're closing out the 2019. Yeah, it's elementary. It's <clears throat> better to buy price-wise. Mm -hmm. From a price standpoint, it's better to buy an e-bike in the fall than in the spring. Right. Simply because in the spring, um, it's, it's really, really busy. Yeah. Also in the fall, um, obviously, it's elementary. A business person like myself, we don't want to carry the bikes over into the spring and then come March and April, the 2020 models are in. And so we, we uh, sell the bikes at what we call a closeout price, which is uh, anywhere from 35 to 50% off wow. the regular tag price. Um, but there's more to it. We, we, I, I'm sort of making an offer, you know, my last name is Italian Mattioli, so making an offer you can't refuse. I love it, okay. <laughs> okay. Here's what you do, you buy an e-bike this fall, all right, at the fall pricing, so mm -hmm. you have a nice savings. And you enjoy it for the rest of September, and you enjoy it for October, which is a great riding month. Oh, my I favorite, bet. but it, it is a great month to ride a yeah. bike. Um, and maybe even a couple of rides in November, and then maybe you go to a warm place on a vacation this year and you take your bikes and you enjoy that. So now comes uh, uh, March and April and the 2020s are coming on. We're running the ads, you know, um, uh, spring uh, before season offering on 2020s. We'll give you what you paid for the bike you bought on the 2019 closeout sale. We'll give you every penny, 100% of what you paid for it, towards the price of the new 2020 if you wished you had gotten the 2020 and said. So it's like wow. you've used the bike um, uh, part of September, October, a little November and fall for free. That is a really good <laughs> offer and it's hard to refuse. You're right. So you're almost like having it on loan. If you wanted to buy a 2020, you pay for 2019, use it all winter. Yeah, you get, if you paid uh, $1,200 and the 2020 uh, is 1400 you only pay 200 Wow, that is an awesome deal. So let's talk a little bit about if you wind up riding your bike to a warmer cli climate. 
what or happens taking then. your bike yeah. to a warmer climate. There was a time when I could ride to a warmer <laughs> climate, but um, then my offer wouldn't be very valuable because I wouldn't be alive. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but moving off of that silliness. Um, yeah, more and more people um, put the bike in their camper or on a bicycle rack. The new uh, e-bike racks are, are very safe. And they, uh, they go somewhere where it's warm and get out of the you know, dreadful, uh, particularly uh, January, February weather here, yeah. and use their bikes and enjoy their bikes. There you go. And now when you come back and you say, oh my, I wish I'd have got a 2020 because instead of this color blue, it's a different color or it has a better um, brake system or something, fine, we'll give you what you paid for it. That is a great deal. Crazy Lenny's e-bikes always has the best deals in town, but that even takes the cake from your usual. And <laughs> thanks so much for sharing that with us. No, you're welcome. Nice to see you. We'll be back with more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break. Hi.